Welcome to Padres POV. I'm Tony Gwynn Jr. And today is Mother's Day. And with me is my mother, Alicia Gwynn. Mom, happy Mother's Day. Thank you, Thanks sir. for joining us. Mrs. Padre, what, what was that like? <laughs> I never looked at it that way. Um, I always enjoyed everything about Padre baseball because dad was playing, loved watching them, loved the fans. The fans had a real, it, we were like a family. Obviously with dad being on the road quite a bit, how did that impact the way you raised my sister and I? It had an impact, but the greatest thing about it is you all always got to talk to dad. You guys were difficult kids to raise, you know. I just whipped you guys into shape. <laughs> <laughs> that you did, that you did. Depending on the sports season for Anisha and I, you guys could come a lot during the basketball portion, but you guys didn't really get to see us, didn't even see me play baseball really until I got to the minor leagues, right? Right. I saw uh, a little bit of your little league games, but I didn't like to go because everybody would compare you, hey, you didn't like your dad, and I just didn't like that, so I, I chose to stay home so I wouldn't get upset. <laughs> Tell us a little bit of, you know, I think a lot of people have heard a little bit about the story of how dad was, you know, one of the videotape, uh, you know, guys who brought that into the game. But I don't know if a lot of people know that you were the first one actually doing the videotaping for him. Yep. I actually suggested it for him, you know, of course. What, you, what made you suggest that? Because he kept calling and he was struggling. He said he was struggling. To dad, it was struggling. And he was, he so said. Like, what, he was hitting like 300 or something yeah, around there? Okay. Yep. And he kept saying, I'm tired of playing pickle with the second baseman, you know. <laughs> And so I said, he said, do you see what I'm doing wrong? And I said, no, but why don't we just tape it? And I remember the first beta tape, and we had a tape of you. I just taped over that. We huh? taped over you, <laughs> your first football um, your outfit out in the backyard, you know, and you had this helmet on that would make you fall down because it was so heavy. heavy. <laughs> so I took that tape and taped over it, and, and he would just kind of cipher them and take his at-bats out. And, transferred to another tape. He went and got another beta tape and transferred that to a, another beta, all his hits. And it just became a big thing after that. It was history from then. What was your proudest moment watching that? When we were in Chicago, and I think it's the day he went five for five. And you know, all day they were all on him. But after he got that fifth hit, they gave him a standing ovation and just chills just Ran up that down. more so than maybe the home run in Yankee Stadium? Oh, I forget that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great one. That that was that was probably my proudest moment, you know, because you're at Yankee Stadium. That's the biggest stage in baseball at that time. And I just felt like, wow, he did it. I tell people the story all the time about how you were very strict about what we were allowed to say and, and do while we sat in the seats, but that one day you kind of let me, you kind of let me give it back. <laughs> you did, you did, and I was, a, I was a little uh, nervous because you were talking a lot of smack over there to Bruce Willis <laughs> and Denzel Washington, and Denzel Washington, and, you know. And but they gave you your due. They gave you your due. You've always been a, a, a very strong woman, and uh, it's been really special watching you kind of pull yourself out. You know, after Dad passed, it was tough on all of us, uh, and seeing you kind of get into your singing career has been very fulfilling to watch you, you know, get back to being happy in, in your old self again. It's, that's that's my proudest moment. You know, you can never prepare for something like, you know, losing your spouse. For us, it was our dad, and um, i just been proud to watch you get back into Thank the swing you, thing. Sir. You could be free as you want to. It's your life. Can't nobody tell you how.